All right, the boys came back down to the creek and we're looking for some elderberries today. We know they're here unless somebody picked them, but we don't know if they're gonna be ripe yet. So we're gonna swim and hopefully pick some elderberries and you can see the river's raging today, a lot higher than it was last time. So we're probably gonna do some swimming as well. Ought to be a good time. Gavin's having to swim across first. <laughs> it's pretty deep because we got a lot of rain. Oh, he's going good. Right on, Liam and I are next. Liam's scared. Can you hold my hand this time? He did it, he made it. All right, here we go. Gavin swam across and then I walked Liam across and now I have to carry our bucket with all of our stuff in it across. The water's really cold. Okay, we found our first little batch of elderberries. As you can see, they're only partially ripe. There are a few ripe ones. Uh, these are still unripe. You can see there's some that's ripe. So they're all purple, but you can see also the stem is purple. Because we're only partially ripe, each little head here or floret. I don't know, because you can see this one and you can see they're already overly ripe. So. We probably won't pick these today. Maybe come back in a week or so and pick them. It's the end of July, so I'm thinking maybe the first or second week in August. Here's some more. We'll come back. So we'll probably end up just swimming for fun and coming back in a couple of weeks to pick the elderberries. A few more florets here. Yeah. It's probably hard to tell in the video, but way up there are some ripe florets. It's really hard to tell. There they are. Which is probably too high for us to get to. I can't think of how to get up there without climbing this tree. So, I guess they're in varying stage of ripe, stages of ripeness. We'll see if we can find any. No. Man, these things are fermented. Huh? These things are fermented. Some of them are extra ripe. Wait, Dad, can I eat those? We'll make jam out of them. And medicine. Oh, yeah, they're extra ripe. So they're not all unripe. Some of them are extremely ripe. What else you got here, boys? Uh oh, a big rock under us. Oh, a log. Huh? I was just feeling that log under there. See what these look like. Well, those are right. All right, that might be the last ones we get off of this tree. Huh? And all right. all right, all the elderberries are way up on this hill. We had a flood recently. We're having a hard time getting up the hill without falling. Y'all gonna get up there and get them? There's yeah. some poke berries up there too. I we'll try to get a picture I of them so you know what not to pick. Pokeberries are inedible. Can I have the cutters? You can see some elderberries over here. I'll show you the pokeberries. Can you give me the cutters? Second. <laughs> the boys are trying to climb this hill. It's difficult. So some of the elderberries are unripe, and some of them are so ripe that they're fermented. So I think we're going to pick through and get what we can. That's good. <laughs> I think I might have to go barefoot. You might, so you can use those eagle talons. I mean, that's literally the point of the human. Oh, do you know how I get up here? I grab on the ground. Come on, hand hold. Help me. Okay. Grab on the All right, well, we made it up the hill. The boy's got a mudslide going here. <laughs> there you go. Here's our elderberry booty so far. Wait, can I see? 
All right, we're back across. You can see all the elderberry plants over there. Purple stuff all over my phone. Some of the elderberries are fermented and smell like wine. So we call in this area the swimming hole, the peaceful pool, because it's, it doesn't have a current, it's clear, and it's deep. So we're gonna swim here and then we gotta go upstream a little bit longer. Here's the video of Liam floating down. Man, that's lazy right there, buddy. Just hanging out. Oh no! Your eyes peeled for more elderberries. I say keep your eyes peeled for more elderberries.